the most successful thing you may get to do in life mm. is not the cars that you you bought, it's not the houses, it's not the travels, mm. but it may be somebody you raised. True. That may be the greatest thing that mm. you ever um, got to do. Yeah. And um, with this consciousness, it, mm. it guides me a whole lot as a parent. Mm. And I would agree that parenting in this generation is very challenging. It is. It's tasking, and that is why there's so a much. need for parents to be intentional mm. about how they That's raise the word, their children. Intentional. And then we get them to take a confession mm. that you are ambassadors of heaven, first mm. of all, because wherever you go, whether your mom or your dad is with you, you represent God, first, first of all. Because what I keep telling them is this. Mm. If you are only good, if you're only a good child, mm. when you see your mom mm. and your dad, mm. mom and dad may not follow you everywhere, everywhere. because we are not omnipresent. Mm -hmm. But God is, so God will see you wherever you are, whatever you do. True. So even if you hide inside the hole, God is going to see True. what you're doing. So first of all, mm. understand that you represent God, God, your maker. Mm. And then secondly, you represent the Obon King family. Mm. So they take that confession, they've taken it for years now. It's and it's part on. of them already. Yes. So yeah. do you think this as um when 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 a child is spiritually grounded, do you how do you see it affecting the totality of this child? Ah, it does a whole deal. Do you because think it has a role a, a major role to play? It has. Because when when a child when you bring up a child who is spiritually grounded, mm. of course the spiritual is the foundation for anything you see on the physical. Mm. Whatever you want to see happen in the physical, mm. you first of all take charge in the spiritual. Mm. So if you have a child who has a spiritual is spiritually grounded, mm. you know, that child will be able to resist certain things. Mm. When the child goes out there, because the child will be tested the mm. child like i tell parents i tell them that you will train up this child you say you've taught the child and all of that yeah. release that child mm. let that child go and test out those values mm. because you will never know the the um, the extent of what you have done or god has used you to do in the life of that child until mm. that child steps out of the nest mm. because a an arrow a quiver is made up of um arrows True. and an arrow was drafted mm. to fly Sure. And any archer will tell you something that you don't just come wake up one day and take an arrow and start shooting. An arrow is targeted. And as a parent, you're the archer. Mm. Your children are those arrows, arrows. And it's your responsibility to ensure that you guide them to launch mm. successfully and fly the nest. Sure. And they will go out there, leave out those values that you had embedded in them. So your, your best bet is to ensure that they grow up in the fear of the Lord. Mm. And it has to come to a point where your children are not just saying they are mm. Christians because you they, they were yeah. born into a house where you mm. take them to church. Mm -mm. And, oh, I was born in a Christian home and it's not enough. Mm -mm. Your children must come to a point where they own their own faith. Mm. 